Hey guys, and welcome to Petrolped. There's only one way to start this video, and that's to say, this log destroyed my car. The question is, which one? I don't really know where to start with this one, if I'm honest. Maybe the best place to start is to put you out of your misery and let you know which one of my cars has been destroyed by the log. Now parked just to my side there is Ruby Roadster. She's fine, but the gap behind me, my other mini parking space, is where Charlie Clubman should be. And sadly, uh, Charlie's had a bit of a mishap. Now this all happened quite a long time ago now, at the beginning of March. Um, Mrs. Petroped was driving home from work um, one evening in the dark, in the rain, and this, well this had maybe fallen off a trailer or a lorry, but this was in the middle of the road just as she approached the roundabout. The, the car in front was an SUV, so it drove over it and because of its ground clearance didn't hit it, but then it appeared in front of the car and Tracy had absolutely no way of avoiding it and he went under the front of the car. Um, she wasn't doing a huge amount of speed, I don't know, 15 miles an hour. She was just literally just driving onto a roundabout. Um, it got stuck under the front of the car um, and at a safe point in the road, she, she pulled off to the side of the road. And at that point, this then started to wreak havoc underneath the car. Um, we got the uh, AA out and the AA um, had to recover the car. Um, and I, you know, big, big shout out to my next door neighbor, Will, who I was away at the time. So he went out to Tracy and she's fine. And that's the most important thing, you know, before I talk to you about anything else that's happened, you know, the, the, whenever there's a, an incident with a car, cars are just made of metal and plastic and they're replaceable and human beings aren't. And Tracy's absolutely fine. We're both devastated about what's happened, but that's the most important thing. Tracy's fine. The car got recovered to Minnie. Minnie did some investigations and I uh, initially thought it would be a relatively minor thing. You know, the front valance and the, the bumper might be damaged. There was a, a, a large oil loss in the car and a lot of kind of smelling of oil and petrol. So I thought well, that doesn't sound great. But in the early stages, I, I really did think it was just going to be a, a repair bill and, and I get the car back. And then it became quite apparent once Minnie had done their investigation that there was a huge amount of damage to the car. Um, so before we talk through exactly what's happened to the car and what's going to happen next, um, I, um, the car was at Mini, uh, Chandler's Mini in Worthing and I have to say those guys have been absolutely amazing, really, really great. Um, so there were personal possessions in the car so uh, a couple of weeks ago I went over there to recover those possessions before the car was picked up and then taken off for a, an engineer's assessment by the insurance company to make the decision as to whether it's going to be written off or not. And the, the, at that point, it was 99% it was sure it was going to be written off. So I went along and what, what I'm going to show you next, I, I need to kind of preface it by just saying there are some terrible things happening in the world at the moment and, you know, uh, wars and you know people falling upon hardship and 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 I know all of that and 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 all of that makes what's happened to me pale into insignificance but I didn't realize until I got my camera out and 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 went to do a little bit to camera to kind of say goodbye to the car I didn't realize just just how much that car meant to me and and just how emotional I was underneath um so I'll, I'll show you the footage uh, that I took at that time and then I'll tell you what's going to happen next. Today is a very sad day and I'm actually really struggling to hold it together because Charlie Clubman's been such a such a star on the channel for the last couple of years and something so innocuous as a log um, just destroyed her so I'm super grateful the guys here at Chandler's Mini Worthing have been amazing and they're going to help me kind of swap some bits over and I've just come to recover all the various pieces in the car. There was valuables and stuff when it happened. 
Uh, Tracy was in the car and we just left the car as it was. We thought we'd get it back, we thought it'd be fixed. And, um, and that's not going to be the case. Um, I'm not going to see her again. Today is the last day. Um, and, uh, you know, cars get into your soul, don't they? They, or certainly they do for me. I'm not one to swap out cars quickly and chop and change. Cars stay with me for a while. And I think that car, cause I got it just before lockdown and we did the whole COVID-19 series on it. And, um, you know, we, de chromed it and we debadged it and then I took it to Motec and we put the Remus exhaust on it and then I went to the guys at Eventura and we did the Eventuri intake it went up to Lowen and it got the really cool OZ uh, alloys it's just a really special car and I'm gonna really struggle to come to terms with it not having it and then of course maybe most of all <laughs> the mud flaps we put the mud flaps on her and to see her here in such a sad state is heartbreaking. Really, really is. So, yeah. I can't talk anymore. So there you go. It's not often you see a grown man crying on the internet. <laughs> um, yeah, just... Man, that, that car got, got into my soul. I, it really, really did. And... I don't know, you, you may feel the same thing about cars. I think some cars, you just, they're transactional things. You buy them, you, you use them, you get rid of them and they don't really get into you. And, uh, and some other cars, for whatever reason it is, and I don't think I help myself by giving my cars names because then they instantly have a personality. Um, so um, just after I then filmed that, I gathered my thoughts and got myself together and stopped crying. Um, and then I did a little bit, I just thought I'd talk to you about the damage itself. So um, I've got a little bit of footage about the damage and then I'll talk to you about exactly what's happened after that. Without the car being up in ramps, you just really can't see the extent of the damage. There's a deformation you can see on the, the front splitter. If you zoom, if I zoom in, you can kind of see the intercooler's absolutely shot. But the real damage is when you get underneath the car and if it's not on ramps, it's very difficult to point out. But you can kind of see a, a hole where the log's kind of gone into the sump and then it's just shattered the sump. And then unfortunately, as well as destroying the engine and the big ch chance of it doing the gearbox in as well, it then carried on down the underbody of the car and it's damaged the underbody of the car and that coupled with the engine loss and my worries about the, the gearbox basically just mean it's a write-off and uh, yeah. All of that because of a log. So yeah, just a, a huge amount of damage. So it's basically transpired that the log went into the front of the car, went through the intercooler and then into the sump. And I, and I actually went out to the lay-by where Tracy pulled the car off and, and this, that's my sump. The biggest part actually still has BMW written on it. Um, so it, it literally shattered the sump, catastrophic, uh, oil failure, uh, or oil loss rather. So the engine dumped all of its oil in an instant. Um, and that pretty much uh, totaled the engine. Um, so uh, engine replacement required. But then it carried on underneath the car and as the car kind of almost skipped and bounced over it, it started to damage the underbody of the car. And that's, that's those two things combined are are a really big problem if you want to try and you know recover a car and, and that means it's it's a total a total loss so a write-off such an innocuous thing such an innocuous thing so the question is what happens next well the the interesting thing is i'd kind of already and i think i have mentioned this a couple of couple of times already i had already thought about changing my car out this year i wanted to try and get something different um I wanted to get something not more special, but uh, the next step up in cars in terms of performance and the, the style and type of car. And I had already made a decision to, to do that. And one of the minis was gonna have to go and the, it was probably gonna be the Roadster that was gonna go. So this almost in a way has just forced my hand a little bit. Um, and it, it happened a long time ago. It's now best part of eight weeks um, since it happened. Um, so next up, 
um, is a new car coming to the channel. Um, and by the time this video goes out, I will have actually picked up the new car. So the next video to drop on the channel on Monday will be the reveal of my new car. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I'd like you to, to kind of tune in and be surprised by it on Monday, but it's very, very special. Um, and, you know, actually to be in a position to buy a car like I've bought is, is still, I'm still struggling to come to terms with it. I, I just find it amazing that YouTube has got to a point where it's allowed me to buy the car I have. But I thought I'd just finish this video um, just kind of looking back at the life that the Clubman had on the channel. I mean, my whole journey with Mini Clubman started actually with a three month long term that I got from Mini UK. And we both loved that car so much and it kind of ticked so many boxes that we, when it went back to Mini UK, we both just said, we've got to have one. And I went out and in fact, in fact, it was Mrs. Petroped that sourced that car. She found it on online and, and I went to see the car and it was a done deal within seconds of me seeing it. I just fell in love with the color and the specification. And it was just before lockdown. I picked the car up at the sort of, uh, I think it was February um, 2019. So it was, sorry, February 2020 rather. Um, so just before lockdown and then obviously with a COVID-19 daily vlog, you know, I had nothing else to do but create content here. So I did lots of things. I had some, worked with some really cool guys, the guys at SMPS 2012, and we we put loads of, you know, bits on it from dechroming it, taking the badges off. And then once lockdown lifted, we were able to go out and about. And we, as I said in that clip, the VT that I shot at, at, at Chandler's, we, we kind of put wheels on it and an intake and an exhaust and mud flaps and, and all those types of things. And, and it, it was a real kind of mainstay of the channel. And it, it was just so sad to think that that she's gone. So um, I'm going to finish this video with a little bit of a montage of the best bits of Charlie Clubman and, uh, you know, put in the comments your thoughts. What's your favourite thing that I did with the car? What's the thing that you'll remember it for the most? Um, and then make sure that you tune in on Monday at six for the reveal of Charlie's replacement, which will be wearing the same number plate. So I've taken the M44XPG number plate off of the Clubman and that is going on my new car. Um, so tune in on Monday at six for that. But guys, very difficult video to make. I didn't really know how to do it, but I needed to announce what had happened and let you guys know. Um, so uh, I hope you appreciate the, the style and the candor and the honesty of this video. And, uh, and yeah, gutted. But anyway, if you've enjoyed that one, not that you can enjoy that one, but you know what I mean, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Any suggestions of what we should do with a log, by the way? I've got a big ax. <laughs> I feel like smashing it up into bits and sticking it in the wood burner and burning it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Drive safe. Gentlemen, prepare your weapons. <laughs> yes. You really do want to be in this video today, don't you? Look, look. Say hello to everybody, they're just there, look. See? As soon as the camera turns on, you need to be part of it, don't you? But I've got I've got stuff to do, okay? You go on go and play. Go on. See ya. Eight, nine, ten. They weren't too bad. Ta! -da! Couldn't do that on a GP3. Well, there you go, peddlers. It is all finished. And I must say, I'm absolutely over the moon and delighted with the look we've achieved. Do you approve? I approve. Oh, I approve. Oh, oh, oh. Mate, that sounds amazing. Oh, I am so chuffed with that. It's just exactly what I had in mind. Yes, very cool. Oh, hold on. Nope.
I'm not getting in there. <laughs> you can kind of see the airflow comes through and there's the, again, it's just a thing of artwork. I'm gonna have to basically remove the bonnet, uh, but luckily, uh, if we come down, shut the bonnet a bit, I've also got my carbon scoop. So right now we're meant to be practicing getting dogs to be more relaxed in the car and stopping them being stressed when they get in the car and uh, yeah I think my two are they're quite chilled really yeah they're, they're just sitting there quite happy <laughs> <laughs> 